there's now a lot of content on the Khan Academy. So I thought I would give you a quick overview video of how to think about the playlists. So the most basic playlist is the arithmetic playlist. Arithmetic. And this is, it literally starts at 1 plus 1 equals 2. And it moves about as far as operations on decimals, long division, things like that. The next most advanced playlist is pre-algebra. And if you're starting from scratch, you might want to go in this order, pre-algebra. And pre-algebra, as the name implies, covers a lot of the foundational concepts for algebra, like adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing negative numbers, and fractions, and exponents. And then we have several playlists that address actual algebra. So there's an algebra playlist. There is an algebra playlist. There is an Algebra 1 playlist, Algebra 1 playlist. And then there is a, there is a California, California Standards, California Standards. And there's two playlists, California Standards Algebra 1 and California Standards Algebra 2. This just algebra playlist, this is the, the, I would call this kind of the main playlist covering algebra. When I just make an arbitrary algebra video, I put it in this playlist and I try to put it in an order of, 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 I guess, advancement or of difficulty. This starts at the most basic algebraic equations, uh, but with one caveat that the, the first few videos in this playlist are old videos. These are some of the very first videos that I did when I started making YouTube videos. And so they're not in HD, they're kind of rough, I'm using Microsoft Paint. Uh, they're, they're not the, the smoothest videos on the planet, but then obviously it also has a lot of new videos in this. And this algebra playlist, it covers both algebra 1 and algebra 2. And I merged it into one playlist because, because frankly, algebra 2 has a lot of overlap or a lot of review with algebra 1. This algebra 1 playlist, this is worked examples from ck12.org's CK open source Algebra 1 book, which is uh, fairly comprehensive for covering the California standards. And for those of you who aren't in California, what I say is this is fairly comprehensive for Algebra 1. And if you know Algebra 1 by these standards, you're probably going to know the great majority of what you need to know uh, wherever you might be taking Algebra. And frankly, if you watch both of these playlists, I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to do any type of algebra problem that you might see in any curriculum. Math is math. Now, this is worked examples, but you can, and it's all done recently, so all of these videos are of, of, of fairly good quality, and they're all in, in high definition. And you could just watch this Algebra 1 playlist in order. And I'll just give you a little bit of warning. The first 16 videos, 16 videos, the very first ones are kind of an overview, so they move a little bit faster. So if you have a little bit, if you're seeing Algebra for the first time, and they seem like they're moving a little quickly, that's just because they're giving a survey of the, of the course. And that's why. Why, uh, and, and I did that just because that was the order that it that, that it was it displayed in the book. But then after those first 16 videos, starting with one-step equations, it actually goes at a very moderate pace. And I do a lot of examples and explain the concepts as I do the examples. So if you're just starting off, want to learn algebra, one I I, I recommend reviewing pre-algebra. It never hurts. But then these are the two core algebra playlists, and you could start in either one and just find where you where you feel comfortable. I would recommend, if you're someplace in between, you know a little bit of algebra, start at the beginning. Watch every video in both of these playlists. If it's something is just super duper easy to you, then you move on to the next video. But just make sure that you have all of your bases covered. Now, these these videos right, these playlists right here, the California standards, these are just worked examples based on the California standards. So after watching these, you want to see more examples. It'll never hurt to watch these two playlists right there. Now, once you're done with algebra, you might want to look at the geometry playlist. You could probably start on the geometry playlist just with pre-algebra, but it's good to have that algebraic uh, foundation there. And in most school systems, you take Algebra 1 first, then Geometry, then Algebra 2. So this is just a recommended path you might want to take. And then after Geometry, you're ready to move into Trigonometry. Trigonometry. And after Algebra, you're also ready to move, because this playlist, as I said, it goes through Algebra 2. After this, you're also ready for Pre-Calculus. You're also ready for pre-calculus. And I'll write it at the same level as trigonometry, because in most, in most school systems, you take trigonometry and pre-calculus in the same year, usually your junior or your senior year. 
And then obviously after precalculus and trigonometry, the next you're now ready for calculus. And this is a fairly extensive playlist. It covers calculus 1, 2, and 3. So differential, integral, and multivariable, and vector calculus. So in some places, even you could all, almost say even through calculus 4. Now, we have another, another playlist that has the word algebra in it, but it is a much more advanced algebra, even though it might sound like a simpler algebra. It's called linear algebra. Linear algebra. And if you've never seen algebra before, do not watch this playlist. It might sound like, hey, linear algebra is easier than nonlinear algebra. No, this is a, a mathematically rigorous uh, course that normally math and engineering majors take in their probably their sophomore year of college. And I would say that you could start off, if you have just a basic understanding of pre-calculus, you could probably you could probably start the linear algebra playlist. But I would recommend being fairly sophisticated mathematically. You probably want a little bit of your calculus out of the way to start it. Even though it is it is really algebra, it is mathematically more sophisticated than a lot of what goes on in the calculus playlist. And on the calculus playlist, once you're about halfway through, you don't have to go through the whole playlist, you're then ready for another advanced playlist that we have, and that's differential equations. Differential. Equations. Probably two thirds of the way through the calculus playlist, you're probably then ready for differential equations, another usually sophomore level course for math and science and engineering majors. Now, everything else, we have some we have some probability and statistics. Algebra is all you really need for that, but I'll put it here because it's reasonably advanced. Probability. There's a probability playlist. Probability. And then there is a statistics playlist. And they are obviously related. You might want to do the probability one first, but you don't have to. There's a probability, and there's a statistics statistics playlist. We also have a California standards geometry playlist, and that's worked examples just like that one over there. So I'll do that like that. We also have California standards California standards geometry. So you could. You could look at that if you want to see more ge geometric worked examples. And then when you think about the sciences, we have physics. And the physics playlist is mainly, I call them, applied algebra problems. So you might want to watch physics right around after you finish algebra. There's, a, there's only a few videos that require calculus. I'll eventually make an entire playlist on calculus-based physics. Most of this is just algebra-based physics. So you're ready to go if you have a good, solid understanding of algebra. And then the other science is the chemistry. Uh, it'd be nice to have, chem have algebra out of the way. Pre-algebra is probably enough for most of it. Pre-algebra is probably enough for most of it. But algebra, if you have your algebra out of the way, then you're going to have no trouble at all with the chemistry playlist. Chemistry and then biology does deal with a little bit of of probability and things like that, so it wouldn't hurt. But that's actually that doesn't even require too much mathematics, or at least the mathematics that I've diagrammed here. We could put biology here. I guess the big takeaway is that algebra is really important for pretty much anything you want to do. There are some genetics problems that require some basic level and and some population genetics uh, population uh, genetics problems that have some biology in it. And then all the finance and economics, that also, I think it assumes a base level of algebraic understanding. So the things on banking, the things on banking. You don't have to have a super advanced. If you just go maybe a halfway through one of these playlists, you're probably ready for these. Banking, economics, economics, and finance. So hopefully that gives you a good overview of everything that's on the Khan Academy. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.